guys in the stretch, when the pitcher's in the stretch, he could still go over here like this, right, to third base. So what you need, what you guys need to wait for him to do is commit to home. As soon as he commits to home, okay, so you're off. How far off do you get? How do you know? Raise your hand, please. Oh. However far the third baseman is off is however far you get off. So if third baseman's there, I can, I can only get off so much. You know what I mean? As far off as I can get right about there, okay? So get off as far as the third baseman is, okay? That's when he's in the stretch, okay? And then as soon as you see the pitcher commit to home, you guys have to gain some ground, get some good shuffles over there, right? As soon as you see him get to home, and you see my footwork here? I keep my feet. What is my stealing position? Drop step. Right? Drop, step, and go. So when I do my shuffles down to there, I get into that stealing position. Mm -hmm. Here, he goes home. He says, balls and dirt. Boom! I can take off and slide into home. Does that make sense? What's up, Mom? So when he's committing this, if he just goes like this, but he has to, if he turns his leg this way, that he has to commit. If, yeah. So if he just. So wait for him to commit home. Exactly, good question. Wait for him to commit home. As soon as he commits home, give me some shuffles and get down like or quarter to halfway down goes, the line. Come on, if, get all the way down. His foot goes over the rubber, then he can't come to you. Exactly. You guys hear that? So here's the commit. Here or here. If he just hangs up and reads it, you just stay still. Because if you take off, now he's going to pick over there at third base. What's up, Jack? Um, both the pitcher is a left-handed. Sure. Oh, 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 I love lefties when we're on third base. Yeah, because you're just, you're just like literally getting And he can't even play. see you. It's more of a lead like first base. So it's a lefty guy, he can't even see you. Get off like you're on first base as far as you can because he's going to have to jump turn and you're going to be able to slide back and dive in like that. Does that make sense? And one, You guys already know this, but foul territory, right? Yeah. Why? Oh. Uh, yeah. Give me a Dean right here. If you get hit, then fair territory or not? See ya, right? We had that happen in a game. Stupid mental mistake. Head comes off and you get put on a plastic. <laughs> exactly, right? Okay. So with, when he's in the stretch, wait for him to commit to home. Wait for him to commit to home. And once he commits home, get up. And you're in a ready position. See, I'm already in my running position. Uh -huh. The ball's in the dirt. Boom. Now I can just keep going in my position. You want, you can't hesitate. You guys, that's the most important part. You know what half of you guys do? If you go down here through the ball's caught, you're, you turn your head. You guys do this all the time. You go down like this, ball's caught, and you're already turning back all the time. You guys got to stay there and think you're going to have time. Oh, I'm going to mix it up. You guys need to stay out wide on it and watch the ball. We even had you know, Lucas Harris do the delay steal because they weren't paying attention. You guys, there's no way the catcher's going to stay and pick you off that well. Get down there, see what happens, and get back. Don't, your first move can't be back to the bag. What are you waiting for? Once you get down to there, and you're in this position, what are you waiting for, Dylan? Bad throw. Either a bad throw, and if he can't catch it, if he can't control the ball, then what do you do? Take off. If he doesn't, if he does control the ball, what do you do? Bust your butt back to the bag, and so it's right about here. You're gonna go here. Let's say this is for he controls it. Ready? Brought the bag. Oh, he commits home, get down there. Oh, he controls it. Bust your butt back to the bag, and then watch the throw back to the pitcher. Okay? If the ball bounces off or something like that, boom, you take off. It has to be a reaction. If you hesitate, you're out. Can't hesitate. Has to be a reaction. Okay. And then with a wind up, a wind up is a walking leap. Okay. So here, can you do a walking leap for me, or a wind up for me? Oh yeah. Like just face the. Okay. So he's in his wind up. As soon as he goes into his wind up, I start walking, 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 walking. Where's my? See, I'm in that same exact position that I was earlier. Right. So instead of shuffling off and having to do that. Now we just go walking lead into our position. And if he controls the ball, bust your butt back to the back. If the ball bounces off, take off to home. And Miles, when you're doing that, correct me if I'm wrong, you're actually walking while the ball's still in the air. You don't have to stop the ball's caught. 100%. That way, that way you're walking, walking while you're watching the ball. Oh, it's in the dirt. You've already got momentum going. Exactly. You're saying you're walking the whole time to control it's caught. So you have your momentum going the whole way. Does that make sense? So basically, as the ball is crossing the plate, that's when you go boom crosses the plate, okay, he controls it, boom, back to the bag. Crosses the plate, ooh, bounces, boom, and then you take off. Does that make sense, guys? Miles? The only reason why he's the only reason why he's off when he's going behind us is because he has to step off the Yeah, so you just watch his feet. He's here in this position. If it's a righty, left foot first. If it's a righty and he goes right foot first, 
we can tow you out that way. Okay? So the walking lead is as soon as that guy goes into his windup, he takes his foot back. What if it's a lefty? What foot goes first on a windup? Exactly. So you guys got to know that. Okay? Coach Tim. When you're on third base and you see the guys doing a windup, Coach Tim is going to say, guys, okay, he's in a windup walking lead. And if it's a righty, it's going to be his left foot walk steps back first for the windup. Mm -hmm. And if it's a lefty, it's going to be his right foot. Just kind of like remind you to okay. run that way. Say, hey guys, we've got a walking lead here. Okay, and watch his left foot. So you can see his left foot go back. That's when you guys get your walking lead. Does that make sense, fellas? Yeah. Okay. Catchers, we'll meet you guys.